All right, guys. So here we are. The brand new transforming Goku. Let's get a first look at him. Shoutouts to my for the footage. And let's see what we got here. So this, of course, is the new Super Saiyan Goku who is part of the dual Dokkan Fest uh, that will be arriving on both JP and Global tomorrow, right? So the gimmick with this Goku is that each turn he will transform uh, into a later stage of like, you know, the Saiyan evolution or whatever you want to call it. So, you know, he starts out first turn Super Saiyan 1, then the next turn he'll be Super Saiyan 2, after that Super Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan God, and then finally Super Saiyan Blue. Now, I've already been given a heads up about this, but it does appear as though, at least maybe just for the teams these units are on or what, that getting the Super Saiyan Blue uh, transformation or the Super Saiyan God transformation might be a little bit of a tall task. Now, the way this Goku works, he's actually kind of interesting. He starts out as a prepared for battle unit uh, for Super Saiyan 1 and 2, I believe. But then once he gets to Super Saiyan 3, uh, he gets over in a flash instead of prepared for battle. And then, oh, here we go. Okay, okay. So now he's Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Very good, very good. Uh, still a prepare for battle unit, of course. Now, after Goku goes from Super Saiyan 3 to Super Saiyan God, he gets over in a flash and shocking speed. And that is also what the Super Saiyan Blue transformation will have, which is nice in terms of him. Like, the Super Saiyan Blue God Super Saiyan 3 would work very well for the Realm of Gods team, the Pure Saiyan team, the Full Power team. The only thing is... The Super Saiyan 3 team, I don't know how great this Goku is going to be because if for the majority of these fights, okay, 1.4 million, that's not bad considering he's only Super Saiyan 2 right there. Like, again, you know, 1.4, that's around what Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta is at. But of course, Evolution Vegeta has a minimum of two normal attacks afterwards, plus uh, a lot of times, uh, just by the nature of how his, he works, uh, he will get a fourth attack. So, I I'm going to be very curious to see, like, once these units get up to Super Saiyan Blue, and, you know, once Frieza gets to uh, Golden Frieza level, like, how strong they're going to be. But it looks like, in order to do that, you're going to have to be going through, like, the the newest, like, strongest Dokkan Fest boss fights. Like, I'm sure... You could pretty easily get the Super Saiyan Blue transformation or Golden Freezer transformation to activate if you're going up against the Ultra Instinct Goku boss fight, or you're going up against the Jiren boss fight, uh, or maybe like the Blue Evolution Vegeta boss fight is pretty tough. But like many of these fights, like after releasing like the one two power punch of very difficult events of Jiren and UI Goku, uh, a lot of the follow ups I think have been kind of underwhelming. You know, Future Gohan, Ultra Full Power, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. A lot of the events... Oh, these transforming animations are pretty cool, though. But a lot of those... Like, they're, they're just not really that that difficult. Like, you just breeze through the events like nothing. Alright, so now Goku, by the way, does have over in a flash. Uh, one interesting thing about him is... He is able to uh, reduce damage. Uh, he does have good defense, and then he also does reduce a bit of damage from his passive. I, okay, so now he's up to 1.5 million. It's just the one, like, really disappointing thing, too, about these units is the super attack animations. Like, that's just the generic Super Saiyan 3 Goku super attack animation, right? Nothing special with it. Nothing special the Super Saiyan 1 attack animation or the Super Saiyan 2 attack animation. And, like, those are the forms... That's, that's going to be like the majority of what we're going to experience with these units is them in these early levels and like their attacks aren't really anything to write home about. I, I think that's a that's like a big flaw uh, in the card's design. The fact that they're giving us these kind of like low level super attack animations when that's really what we're going to be looking at most of the time. So, you know, if they're going to do kind of this new transformation meta... Where they're going to have, you know, maybe a Vegeta card that does this. Who goes, you know, Super Saiyan 1, 2, God, and then Blue or something like that. Hopefully he can have new super attack animations. Hopefully they don't, you know, leave him with like this stuff. Or like if they do, you know, a Majin Buu card. 
or a cell card. You know, cell would work really, really well. I would love to see, you know, like new animations though for a second form cell, first form cell. Uh, you know, like a new like solar Kamehameha by Perfect Cell. Those are the type of things I do want to see. Now, here's where you could run into issues with this Goku. I figured this might be something that would occur. Uh, we're also on the second turn, by the way. Okay. I, I do want to keep my eyes out for one thing. I'll explain in a second. But Goku, later in the fight, will link up incredibly well. Okay, so 1.6 with God of Destruction Topo. Hmm. Okay. So, this Goku, you know, once you have... Once you're up to, like, the Super Saiyan God or Super Saiyan Blue level, this exact rotation right here, I'm sure the Super Saiyan Blue version of this Goku could probably crack, like, 2.5 million. Easy. Because he shares a lot of attack links with Vegito Blue. A lot. They have, uh... Well, I don't know. Does the Super Saiyan Blue one still have Kamehameha? He might not. But they've got Fierce Battle. I think they got, like, Warrior Gods. Uh, they have Super Saiyan. They're gonna share a lot of attack links. Uh, once the Goku becomes Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan Blue, he does kind of get like the Super Saiyan Blue slash Super Saiyan God uh, levels of Super Attack animations where, you know, he gets those sort of links. So he's going to work perfectly alongside these units, Evolution Blue Vegeta, Ultra Instinct Goku, Tech Vegito Blue, God of Destruction Topo, you know, Jiren, like the Dragon Ball Super God level characters. He'll work good with... Oh! <laughs> nice try, Omega, my boy. But, like, I, I don't think this Goku is going to work very well at all on the Super Saiyan 3 team, like, the more I think about it. Because the point of the Super Saiyan 3 team is that it's, like, the most cohesive team in the game, right? All right, so now... Wow, look at this. We're on physical Omega, and we just got the transformation into Super Saiyan 2. <laughs> <laughs> Physical Omega, which I consider one of the toughest bosses in the game. And once we got to Physical Omega himself, we're only on the Super Saiyan 2 transformation. Like, see, <laughs> th this is going to be an issue for very high-tiered teams where we're just not going to see uh, the high-level transformations. I, I just don't think they're going to come out that often. So, yeah, th this... Hmm, this is a real shame. And it does kind of create, like, wonky team building, too. Because at the start, he'll have to prepare for battle. So, like, eventually, Tech Vegito Blue and the Blue Goku or the God Goku are going to be best friends. But, you know, that's, you know, four, five, six, seven turns into the fight before you're going to be able to do that. Like, again, the Realm of God team uh, is going to be one of the best for this, though. Because you could start out with Ultra Instinct Goku... And then Super Saiyan Goku, because Ultra Instinct Goku's got Prepare for Battle, as well as uh, Over in a Flash. So, you know, you can kind of have them chill together until Goku hits Super Saiyan 3 or Super Saiyan God. And then at that point, you could probably uh, get the Goku on a rotation with the Tech Vegito Blue, which would be a little bit more beneficial. Uh, I like the Realm of Gods team. I think this is a, a bit of a big buff for them, because that last slot uh, was actually... Like, 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 they needed another really strong unit, right? Like, I think this Goku will fit well here. Super Saiyan 3 team is built on cohesiveness. And the fact that this Goku is not going to have over in a flash until several, several turns into the fight is going to be something that is going to hurt the Super Saiyan 3 team. So I don't think I would run him very often on there. Uh, you could definitely make it work on the pure Saiyan team because, of course, you're going to have, like, Turles on there who just gives that massive three key buff. Anyway, uh, you're also probably going to have, uh, you know, units like Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, units like Ultra Instinct Goku, who you can sort of mix and match the over and a flash and prepared for battle with, right? So maybe that would, you know, the pure Saiyan team would work well. Now the full power team, I can't really venture a guess as to how well it's going to work. That team is so wonky, I'm going to have to just straight up test it myself uh, to see how well... Goku or Frieza for that matter work on that team uh, considering like you know how exactly you want to build it with key links and such you know you might need to rely on you know super Ooh, damn that's a pretty good crit right there whoa but <laughs> wow well, okay all right all right uh for the full power team you know to make it work you might need to rely upon 
uh, not only Super Saiyan Kaioken Goku, but perhaps you would also need to uh, rely upon the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken. You know, they'll be very helpful with Prepare for Battle, Over in a Flash, Shucking Speed, which will make the team just work overall better. Uh, so, I, I like the Goku. At the very least, he does have a lot of options. Uh, I don't think... J just from what, like, what we're looking at here, I don't think I would put this Goku above, like, uh, Ultra Instinct Goku or Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, but I do want to get more time. Oh, another <laughs> Super Attack Dodge. Hello? But I do want to kind of give it more time with these units to see, uh, you know, how often, how consistently we get transformations to occur, especially, like, you know, if I go into, like, uh, Category Super Battle Road, right? Like, you know, how good is are these Gokus going to be once we're on the Realm of Gods uh, Super Battle Road? Because uh, Full Power, Pure Saiyan, and Super Saiyan 3 don't have uh, Category Super Battle Road stages yet, but they will eventually. So, at the very least, this Goku, being on as many Category teams as he is, I do think that does give him a lot of value. Like, you know, in talking about which purple stone units or red stone units I think people should select. I usually do kind of look at that like, you know, how many categories does that unit have? How often will you be using it in these category teams? Uh, at the very least, since this Goku's on so many, you know, you can kind of plug him into a lot of different spots. But it's going to... I feel as though there's a good chance with this Goku. It's more of like I'm wishing and hoping that he's going to be as good as I can think he I think he can be, but this might be a unit that like we're going to need more difficult Dokkan events, like longer Dokkan events for him to really hit like his full power. Hopefully this is a sign that they're going to be putting in some crazy long difficult Dokkan events coming forward and uh you know, this will kind of be like not really a new meta, but like the events will start getting so hard that like, you know, these transformations uh, will realistically happen, right? We'll see the Super Saiyan Blue transformation often. We'll see the Super Saiyan God transformation often. Because as it stands, uh, might be a little... Might be a little difficult to get this bad boy out. Like, as you guys can see, we weren't able to even get to Super Saiyan God uh, on this Realm of Gods team. And the Realm of Gods team, this is, this is where I think the Goku will work best, too. So, the banner drops tomorrow... I'm going to pull him. I might try and rainbow him just because since he's good on so many teams, I want to do tests on him. Thanks, y'all, for watching. Uh, very shortly, I will have a video for the Golden Frieza up, and I'll catch y'all next time.